people that could have everything going for them. But it just takes one thing to throw them off course. We're going through a you know, pandemic of, of mental health. In our language, there aren't any words for like depression. So I think that makes it even harder. If there's not a language for it, how do I talk about it? We get used to this way of living that we just provide and that we need to provide for survival. So I think that's something that might make it quite hard to actually pause and think about, OK, how am I doing? Can I talk about this? At the end of January, my father was taken into hospital unwell with COVID. He spent two weeks in hospital before he passed away. And then soon after that, we found out that my wife had actually lost our unborn child. You know, losing my father was the most difficult uh, thing in my life so to date. And the, the circumstances, not being able to say goodbye to him, you know, for me, that's been the most difficult. But I got to a point where I had to start reaching out to people. One of the things that people worry about when they, before they approach their GP, is that they think, okay, this is gonna go down on my record, it's a bad thing, it's a negative. It could happen to even the best of people. We go to prayer on Friday at the mosque, and I think there being maybe more talk around mental health or well-being, making a link between Islam and mental health. We felt that the imams and scholars, the mosque, for the Muslim community at least, are like the first responders. I had many counselling sessions with men, with young men in particular, and also elders within our community who, who were saying, look, you know, what, 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 what do we do? We've organised about five, six different webinars. We had over 200 imams and scholars from up and down the country attending. They go back in the community and they organize a khutbah around mental health. They organize a workshop around mental health. This is a dominant effect. Without faith, I think I would have been asking a lot of questions which I wouldn't have had answers to. Maybe my father was so beloved to God that by us not being able to say goodbye to him every time we make supplication for him, we're making it from our hearts and it's, and, it's, and it's meaning much more to us. I hope to use the position that I'll be in um, to try and make a change. So I think just seeing someone who is um, of a similar culture or able to speak the same language, that already puts someone at ease.